Welcome everybody to another week of our Divine Direction Connect Groups. I trust that you've had a blessed time. This is the last week which we're going to be speaking on this subject. Um, thank you to the hosts and the Connect Group leaders. I trust that you've all had a really blessed time. I've heard great stories and testimonies and about good discussions that have taken place. Our people have felt the prompting of God and been obedient to them. And I really just trust that uh, you're going to listen to the voice of the Lord in the next few weeks, what He's got for you. Today, I want to start by diving into the key scripture that we've been looking at. Proverbs 16 verse 9, a man plans his way, but the Lord directs our steps. So can you bring out the scripture and we're going to look at it for a couple of minutes first. We're going to read it in different translations and I want, to, I want you to ask and look at these two elements. Firstly, what does the scripture teach us about ourselves? Is there something we need to do? Secondly, what can we learn about God from the scripture? Something about his nature, his character, who he is. Have this discussion amongst each other and let's hear what comes out. Great friends, so this week we looked at faith to start. We looked at the story of Nehemiah and how Nehemiah had a divine burden to rebuild the walls. He had this prompting, had this burden, he stepped out and suddenly those walls were built quite quickly. But for most of us, it's that faith to take the first step that is the challenge. For a lot of people, the problem is right at the beginning. If you fail to start, you will never complete what God has got for you. 100% of the time, you'll never, you'll never finish what you don't start. That unwillingness to step out is what holds us back from completing what God has got for us to do. So the question that I want you to discuss now amongst yourselves is this. If you look at your life over the last couple of weeks, what is something that God is calling you to start? It might be a new discipline a new habit, something that you need to restart. What is it, small or large, that God is calling you to start? Hopefully you've all been able to describe something that you feel that God is calling you to do and well done for that. The first step is to acknowledge what He wants you to do. Secondly, what is your next step that you need to do? I love Bill Hubbles in his explanation about how do you get tasks done. He says firstly, find a date of when you need to do that particular task and you'll be 50% of the way to completing it. What is your next step? Is it to Find a date, find a theme, a person, make an appointment. Um, what is it that you need to do? I love Zechariah 4 verse 10. It says, Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. God loves it when you take that first step and you start to begin. He rejoices in that moment. Even as you're thinking of these new challenges and what God has got for you, Hear the delight of God that He's rejoicing as you step out of your comfort zone and you respond to His promptings. Here's my question for you. What is your next step? Quite simple, what is your next step that you need to do? Okay friends, this is our last question of our whole series and then I'm going to give it to you now, have a quick recap and then you're going to discuss it at the end. So the question is, what is your biggest takeaway from the series? The most important thing for you that you're leaving with in order to discern and live out God's will for your life. In the first week, we looked at how God calls the who before the do. If you're becoming the right who, he will lead you in the things that you need to do. We looked at how God cares more about the why than the what. So if you're living with the right why, the right motives, God's going to lead you so that you discern what you need to do. Your motives really do matter to God. So that was week one. In week two, we looked at now what. 
What do we need to do? The truth is, God gives us wisdom to discern what we need to do. That the wisdom comes from walking with wise people, walking with others. It comes from seeking God. If you're seeking God, He will give wisdom. The good news is that He advises us, He guides us, God watches over us. And as we stay connected to Him, we grow in our wisdom. I would encourage you, one of the ways we grow in our wisdom is through prayer and staying connected to Him. We're starting a prayer series next week. How do I pray? Why should I pray? How do I keep devoted to prayer? How do I pray when life is busy? It's going to be a great series about holding on and to laying hold of the promises that God has got for all of us. In week three, we looked at trusting God's process. We looked at the Spirit's prompting, the Deo Ho Numo moments. We looked at the certain uncertainty where we don't know how everything's going to work out. What we do know is that there will be a predictable resistance. So don't worry if you're facing some opposition and you're serving God. You do want to worry is when you're serving God and you've got no opposition. And we looked at lastly how there was an uncommon confidence that Paul says we can have when we know God. Paul trusted the process and the leading of God, trusted those promptings, new resistance would come, but we can be confident in being obedient to God. Then in the fourth week, we just looked at how if we never, we'll never finish anything that we don't start. How starting and stepping out in faith is so important to obviously fulfilling what God has got for us. So God will give you a burden, a sense, a leading, a direction, those day ho numa moments, and we need to respond. How do we start something big for God? Easy. You start small. Word says whoever is faithful over little will be entrusted with much. So think big, start small. Take that next step. Scripture that comes to mind is, don't grow weary in doing good, for in your appropriate season, you're going to reap a harvest. Don't grow weary in doing good. Keep on step by step, seeking Him and stepping out in faith and watching God do amazing things in your life and through your life. So friends, what is your question today? What is your last big takeaway from this series? What stood out for you?